The easiest way to RGB split is to select your base layer, duplicate it with Control J, double click, and come into this blending option menu. These RGB represent your red, green, and blue channels, which is making up your whole image. And we're just going to turn off red, represented by the R, and press OK. And if you just hold down Control and shift it around with your arrows, vertically or horizontally or some combination of the two you can RGB shift and if you don't want to do this with an offset and you want to anchor everything from some point just control A to select all control T to transform hold down alt and select any of these side buttons and pull out and it will use the center point as an anchor and you can arbitrarily place that somewhere else I'll show you how in a moment but this way the effect will be most pronounced towards the edges and at least pronounced in the center if you're going for something like that undo that press control T again and drag this center point over here and then you can even rotate or drag it out and you can anchor it from anywhere else one other approach is to duplicate for a safety layer and click on your channels tab and this will just show you all the red green and blue channels individually so we're just gonna play with red here control a to select all control t to transform and press this button here which will allow you to warp and here you have a great amount of control to sort of arbitrarily drag things out in a really subtle way if you want or in a really crazy way if you want so you can really do whatever you want with that. This also works with black and white images even though they have no saturation and no hue. Something that's gray is just red, green, and blue values in equal proportion to each other. Like if you turn one of them down you're gonna get a color. So it is still sort of made of color in one sense. So you can just duplicate it and let's turn off blue and drag this around and I think red always looks better so here we have the blue face on the outside and the red on the inside if you want to switch that just alt control shift E to make a duplicate layer of all the visible layers as one layer control I to invert it and change the layer to color mode and as we turn this on and off we can see that we've switched the places of red and blue that's just one more way to control it and get whatever you think looks better. To go a step further, you can shift channels in color spaces besides RGB. Go to image, mode, CMYK color, which is cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, which is a color space for printers and printing. Press OK. What you'll see here, if we go back into our blending, is instead of RGB, we have CMYK. So let's turn off magenta in this duplicate layer and transform. Let's just try dragging everything up again from our center anchor point and let's just add some curves adjustment and that's just another different way you can go at it it's the exact same effect it's just using different colors 